Okay, y'all, this is my first video talking to y'all about my relocation journey, uh, what's going on so far, that kind of thing. I've already had one crazy situation already occur, y'all. Come on in, come on in for the details, y'all, and for the latest gossip, I guess I put it that way, too, because I was definitely bamboozled, I was definitely hoodwinked, and I was definitely gossiped about y'all. So, of course, I, had, I put in my two-week notice, um... At my job already. My last day is on the 1st. It wasn't done to my liking, I guess I put it that way. Um, the day before I was going to turn in my resignation letter, um, it was on a Wednesday, the 20, actually the 22nd, no, the 5th, I'm not looking at my calendar, 15th, I think. I think it was the 15th, Lord, I don't know. Last week, I think, I don't know. But like I said, when I be, the, um, the day before I was going to turn in my letter to my job, um, I got a call from my supervisor asking, she was about to fax over, I guess, like the, um, the monthly um, list and that kind of thing for me to start working on. But I heard when she got to the copier that um, you better ask Tanetta because I don't think she's going to be here. She's moving next month and all these kind of things. And I know I've only told two people this, I guess I put it that way. One person I told her, it was probably over six months to a year ago. I, I couldn't, I didn't give her any details. She just knew that I was interested in moving and relocating, that kind of thing. I've been talking about relocating y'all since I was like two years old, I'm sure. But like I said, that person had no idea what else was going on, what changed, anything else. Neither did the other person, mind you, but they had a few more details I was looking at possibly going on this summer and that kind of thing. And I'm just like, okay, it wasn't even your place to even tell my job anything because I hadn't even put in my notice yet, y'all. So I went ahead and put my notice in that day anyway. I was going to put it in the next day, but I decided since I was so upset that day, I went ahead and put it in that day that she, I guess, told all this information, even though it was to the wrong place and all this kind of stuff. But I'm like, like I said, like I said, this, I just was bamboozled and hoodwinked. I really didn't, did not appreciate that at all. But like I said, I know for, for me moving forward, I know that when it comes to, because I haven't even, I usually don't even tell anybody at my job anything anyway. It's always a superficial hello, bye, and that's really about it. Um, this was the first or second time, I guess, with the other person as well, kind of, um, that I was trying to, of course, not be friends, so to speak, but I guess try to be more intimate with my coworkers and let them into my life a little bit, that kind of thing. But I guess I made the wrong decision with this particular person. And like I said, I know that from now on, I will not do that in any other job that I ever have, I guess I put it that way. Like I said, that's something that I usually I keep private anyway. But I decided to try to go ahead and see, hope, hoping that things would, of course, be okay and that this person wouldn't even do this kind of stuff. Stepping out of her lane, just telling everybody, t telling all my business and, it, and had no idea whether things had changed or not. Mind you, I hadn't spoken to this person about a month and a half, two months, that kind of thing. Anything could have changed in that time, which some things did change, but it's okay. But like I said, I just know for next time, you can't tell everybody everything. And you definitely can't tell small-minded people your big dreams.